It's become the most tantalizing question facing the elections just weeks before the actual elections and just days perhaps before the dates are announced. Now remember the BJP has already revealed its first list of 195 candidates this Lok Sabha, including Smriti Irani from Ameti. Suspense continues from the BJP side for Rai Bareilly. For the Congress party, which is expected to release its first list tomorrow, 24 hours before that release, the biggest and most tantalizing question is over whether Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi are locked and loaded and about to step back into the Uttar Pradesh ring. Will Rahul Gandhi be fighting from Ameti? Will Priyanka Gandhi be fighting from Rai Bareilly? Will only one of them be fighting? Will the other person be benched and not fight this election? All of those combinations have been doing the rounds for many weeks now, but someone with a great deal of uh, power at the local level in Amethi has just perhaps let the cat out of the bag 24 hours before the Central Election Commission actually confirms it with a formal statement that Rahul Gandhi could be returning to fight for Amethi once again. We're going to get into that in a deep way, but first we've got some breaking news coming in. Is it all set to be another Smriti versus Rahul Gandhi round two in Ameti? Congress leader, the district president from Ameti of the Congress party, not some random karyakarta, but a empowered leader at the district level, the district president of the Congress party has said, Rahul will fight from Ameti. Not, we want Rahul to fight from Ameti. Not, we don't know, let's see who will decide, but Rahul will fight from Ameti. The categorical claim by the district president of the Congress party in Amethi. This is the leader saying that the party leader Rahul Gandhi will contest the Lok Sabha election from Amethi. Will Rahul Gandhi also be fighting from Wayanad? We don't know just yet. Remember, Rahul is the sitting MP from Wayanad in Kerala. It was the second seat he fought in 2019 along with Amethi, which he lost to Smriti Irani, retaining Wayanad. The question is, is it going to be a repeat this time? Will he be fighting both Amethi and Wayanad or just Amethi? Listen into what the Congress's district president has just said. Rahul Gandhi ji, when Delhi meet Delhi or Rahul Gandhi when Amethi meet Amethi? He says that Amethi is a family of Amethi. So if there is no family of Amethi, then they are a family of Amethi. When they were Wayanad, they were the same as Amethi. When Amethi was the same as Amethi, they were the same as Amethi. So people are ready for the Amethi Congress Committee. They are working with the Amethi Congress Committee. There are many people who are working with the Rahul Gandhi. They are working with the Amethi Congress Committee. That's the big thing. It's an Amethi family. That family is working with the Amethi Congress Committee. Rahul Gandhi is working with the Amethi Congress Committee. हम लोगों के संपर्क में है संगठन के संपर्क में है वो लगातार चाहता है कि अमेठी के लोगों से हम सबसे भूल हुई है उसे सुधारने का मौका मिले जो अमेठी का विकास रुका था फिर शुरू हो राहुल गांधी जी के नाम से जो अमेठी का नाम था पूरी दुनिया में वो फिर से रोशन हो इस बात को लेकर अमेठी लोग तैयार है और राहुल गांधी जी का इंतजार कर रहे हैं And here's some more news coming in now. Rahul Gandhi from Amethi and Priyanka Gandhi from Rai Bareilly. Could that be what the Congress is all set to announce tomorrow? Priyanka Gandhi's posters have come up now in Rai Bareilly. There's nothing particularly surprising about that. Uh, Congress workers frequently put up posters in order to drum up the mood and drum up the pressure on the high command to convey what their desire on the ground is. Rai Bareilly Pukarthi poster for Priyanka Gandhi there. You can see it have come up. Will Priyanka Gandhi fight from the Gandhi stronghold of Rai Bareilly, the seat that her mother Sonia Gandhi vacated just a few weeks ago in order to enter parliament from the Rajya Sabha, therefore clearing the decks for perhaps the biggest suspense as far as who will get this seat in the 2024 elections. So the question now is, very, viewer, very, very clear. Is it going to be Rahul Gandhi fighting from Amethi and Priyanka Gandhi fighting from Rai Bareilly? Is only one of them correct? Is any of those seats incorrect? We don't know just yet. What we're hearing is that at least one of them is going to be fighting from one of these two seats. So, is it leaning towards Rahul Gandhi from Amethi? 
given that the district president has gone ahead and said that it is happening, not as a claim, not as wishful thinking, but that it is happening. Do we take that seriously or do we still wait for that big announcement from the Central Election Committee of the Congress Party that takes place tomorrow? Joining us live now is India Today's Mosmi Singh, who tracks the Congress Party very, very closely. Rajdeep Sardesai is our consulting editor. Preeti Chaudhary also looks at all uh, the machinations of the political parties in the run-up to the big 2024 election. So India's number one political team live with me on this very, very tantalizing story. Because, you know, in the uh, Rajdeep, I'm going to start with you. Uh, the, 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 the ocean of seats and possibilities and permutations and combinations, it's not surprising that Ameti and Rai Bareilly, you know, carry uh, a certain charm. You know, easily recognized, people identify with what's going on there. You don't have to rack your brain to think of why Ameti and Rai Bareilly are famous. What are you hearing now? Huge buzz has been on for quite a long time. Plenty of kite flying for certain. But now you've got a district president saying Rahul Gandhi will be fighting from Ameti. 24 hours before the CEC meeting, Rajdi. You know, Shiv, uh, uh, a district president in the Congress party... Uh, is just one of the many functionaries who will uh, try and put his or her inputs into that final decision. This is a grand old party where nothing is a done deal until it is done. And let me give you an example of what happened this afternoon. The Congress party was uh, planning to bring out a manifesto where they mm. were going to focus on the youth and announce a youth manifesto and uh, with the right to employment which Rahul Gandhi was supposed to announce in Dhar along with Malikarjun Karge on the Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra. What happens? Uh, at the last moment, the Congress decides not to go ahead with it. So with the Congress party, it is never a done deal until it is done because there is so much of internal uh, 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 decision making uh, before any final uh, announcement is made. And that also goes for Rai Bareilly and Amethi. Yes, hmm. you would expect that there is pressure on Rahul Gandhi to certainly contest once again from Amethi. That's undoubted. There is some pressure also on Priyanka Gandhi to contest the seat which is being vacated by her mother, Sonia Gandhi. But there is no decision taken. And yes. from what one gathers, there are pulls and pressures on both sides. There are those who believe that it would be a high risk to contest from Amethi and Rai Bareilly. The inputs that the Congress is getting certainly suggest that the BJP is on a strong wicket out across Uttar Pradesh, not just uh, uh, in uh, areas like Gorakhpur, but hmm. also in an Amethi and Rai Bareilly. This is no longer the Amethi and Rai Bareilly shift of 20 years ago. This is right. an Amethi Rai Bareilly where Smriti Rani won last time and the BJP is making a determined effort to win Rai Bareilly this time. So the sense one gets is that the Congress is still playing a wait and watch game, hasn't taken a decision. I can tell you this, the screening committee for Uttar Pradesh has also not met. So the district president can say what he wants, but even mm. the basic screening committee of uh, Uttar Pradesh has not met. Eventually, this decision has to be taken by the Gandhi family. You yes. see, uh, the final, final decision on whether to put both uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi Vadra will be taken by uh, Sonia Gandhi and the Gandhi family. My own sense is of course, it's yes. very unlikely that both will contest because the sense one gets is that the party at the moment is reluctant to almost make it uh, a sort of Rahul and Priyanka double act. They want hmm, to hmm. tread very cautiously and decide before they take any decision on Amethi and Rai Bareilly. So it could be one of them, not both of them. The screening committee hasn't even met just yet. You know, the buzz has been going on for weeks. You know, we've talked about this quite extensively, uh, Mosami. Uh, the CEC meeting takes place tomorrow. Expectations, uh, Mosami, are that that list will be out tomorrow or, you know, after that meeting. Is this suspense going to end? And what are you hearing from within the Congress party about this Amethi Rai Bareilly, Rahul Priyanka permutation? So, Shiv, these are the political colors of the Congress party. Behind me, you can see these are all Congress workers from Rai Bareilly who are here. They've just met uh, somebody at Sonia Gandhi's office. They're hoping to meet Sonia Gandhi later in the evening. They're hoping to meet Malika Arjun Kharge and propose and, in fact, demand that Priyanka Gandhi Wadra should contest from Rai Bareilly. So, hmm. that is clear that Amethi and uh, Cong uh, Rai Bareilly Congress workers have uh, passed proposals 
rebels and are demanding that uh, th these two leaders should contest from the Gandhi once the Gandhi bastion. But importantly, the CEC is to meet. Uh, the UP screening committee has not happened, which is actually the preliminary body which has to at least uh, formally discuss candidates, even if that is a formality to discuss Rahul and Priyanka. And that hasn't even happened at all. So tomorrow's CEC will really clear the way for whether Rahul Gandhi is going to contest why not or not because Kerala is going to be discussed so we'll we'll know whether there's any uh, contest from uh, Priyanka Gandhi as far as South is concerned from hmm. Kerala or from Rahul Gandhi for that matter since speculations are doing the round so we'll get a confirmation on that whether Rahul Gandhi is contesting why not but quickly I'll go to one of these workers who's prepared a small short poem and that will give you actually the entire essence of the political mood at the Congress headquarters here बिल्कुल मैम आपके चैनल के माध्यम से प्रियंका जी को आपके पर नाना ने था जिसे अपनाया कभी आपके पर नाना ने था जिसे अपनाया कभी उसने भी निज लहू ने हमें बहाया है दादा और दादी को था जिनसे अपार प्यार ममता मई मान ने है अपना लुटाया है दादा और दादी को था जिनसे अपार प्यार ममता मई माने ने है अपना लुटाया है जिस राय बरेली को परिवार आप मानती है जिस राय बरेली को परिवार आप मानती है उसी परिवार ने आपको बुलाया है जिस राय बरेली को परिवार आप मानती है उसी परिवार ने आपको बुलाया है इसको संभालो यहाँ टूटने न पाए अब आपके ही पुरखों ने इसको बनाया है कब तक रुकेंगे आप लोग यहाँ मैडम जब तक हम लोगों प्रियंका गांधी जी की रायबरेली से डिमांड पूरी नहीं हो जाती है तब तक आमरण अनशन के लिए एक कार्यकर्ता तैयार है अपना लहू भी बहाना पड़े हम तैयार है डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ राय बरेली इज यहाँ पंकज जी आप लोग किस लिए आए हैं और मिल लिए सोनिया गांधी से क्या कहेंगे आप लोग हम लोगों का मैसेज आदरणीय श्रीमती सोनिया गांधी जी के पास गया है निश्चित रूप से वो हम लोगों से मिलेंगी क्योंकि रायबरेली का रिश्ता सोनिया गांधी जी से पूरे गांधी परिवार से पुराना रिश्ता है गहरा रिश्ता है तो हम लोग आज यहाँ पर उपस्थित हुए हमारे सारे कांग्रेस के पदाधिकारी आए हैं नेतागण आए हैं कि ये अगर श्रीमती सोनिया गांधी जी राज्यसभा चली गई हैं तो रायबिल्ली से गांधी परिवार का कोई भी मेंबर प्रतिनिधित्व okay. करें श्रीमती प्रियंका गांधी जी का प्रतिनिधित्व करें प्रियंका से बात हुई है प्रियंका गांधी इस चुनाव के संबंध में बात नहीं हुई है लेकिन चुनाव हाँ इंतजार है हम लोग इंतजार कर कांग्रेस वर्कर्स कैंपिंग इन द कैपिटल एंड वील नो बाई Tomorrow evening, uh, which side is the wind blowing, sir? Okay, Preeti, you know familiar scenes at the Congress office. Songs are being sung. You know the crowds are there to drum up all that support. You know nothing surprising about all of that, but a decision will have to be taken. Uh, you know, finally, that list is going to have to be out. Uh, it's not like the election can be fought on you know on rumors and kite flying. Ultimately, the seats will have to be announced. What are you hearing? Both correct, half correct, one third correct. What's going on? you know uh, shiv is very interesting because i've been sending out messages to my sources and uh, one very reliable source has got back with saying uh, 50% correct so that would mean <laughs> one of them as of now is fighting uh, from rai bareilly or amethi there's considerable amount of pressure shiv understandably yeah. so uh, you know you can see uh, with what's going on in front of uh, the congress headquarter but having said that uh, if you look at the letter which sonia gandhi wrote once she said that she will not fight from rai bareilly again there seems to be a sense where she says take care of my family that the seat mm. would be held by someone of the gandhi parivar now will it happen will it not happen that's a separate issue the other mm. thing shiv uh, you know somebody like a rahul gandhi is pushing his top leadership across the board to fight elections this time so all top leaders there seems to be a push from rahul gandhi himself to go out and fight lok sabha despite of what it might augur for them so So therefore, there will be pressure for on the Gandhis also to possibly put their you know hat in the ring as well. But uh, you know, my other source also tells me from the Congress chief that only three people know, and those three people share the same name, which is Gandhi. So it's either Sonia yeah. Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, um, you know, or uh, Priyanka Gandhi. You know. Lastly, Shiv, you know, something where logistics are concerned. Moshmi and I both know better. If you look at 2014 and 2019, five months before the elections, uh, you know. 
were even announced. There were Congress teams in Amethi scurrying the area, of course, for Sonia Gandhi and Rai Bareilly trying to set ground and the base for Rahul Gandhi to fight Amethi and, of course, for uh, Sonia Gandhi to fight Rai Bareilly as well. Right. It's only two months to election. Not one team has hit the ground. So will it happen? That's the big question. Very, very interesting. Rajdeep, I'd like to end with you. Uh, you know, one final question on this particular topic. You know, we remember in 2019, Priyanka Gandhi, there was a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, mystery and buzz over whether she'll fight from Varanasi. You know, she also, uh, you know, mischievously gave out a kind of indication about whether she will or not during one, you know, very memorable press conference. Is she keen to fight this time, Rajdeep? That's a good question. I think... You see, one thing is having the keenness to fight. Uh, the other is what, what is the ground reality. I think she hmm. would be keen, uh, certainly, to play a greater role in the Congress party. Remember, at the moment, she's Congress General Secretary without a portfolio. Early, yes. Earlier, she was Congress General Secretary in charge of Uttar Pradesh. Now, she's without a portfolio. So, I'm sure she would want a clearer role. Whether that role hmm. involves uh, contesting a Lok Sabha election from Rai Bareilly, who knows? Look, the moment she contests, uh, she will automatically make news. She will become part of the, uh, the the noise and the heat and dust of the election campaign. And a lot of focus will be on her. Now, does the Congress want that? Or does the Congress want the focus to remain on Rahul Gandhi, who's been going around the country on his Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra? One suggestion which a congressman claims has been thrown up is that Rahul Gandhi fight from the south where he mm. has spent a lot of time in Kerala, why not nurse the constituency, and Priyanka Gandhi, uh, Vadra, fight from the north. Now, all of these permutations, combinations are possible, but the truth of the matter, and I, I, you know, I, I, this is where I started off. At the moment, the left hand in the Congress doesn't seem to know what the right hand is doing. So there is no clear strategy or messaging, uh, without which uh, none of us will really know uh, what mm. happens till it happens. I was told by a Telangana Congress leader that they are insisting that Rahul Gandhi fight this time from Telangana. Left is putting pressure on Rahul Gandhi. Don't contest from Wayanad. We are both part of the same India alliance. The Co Kerala Congress is very keen that Rahul Gandhi contest from Wayanad. Otherwise, yeah. the left will uh, seize the initiative. So there are lots and twists and turns and, and a lack of cohesive strategy at the moment uh, when it comes to the Congress's choices for this election, at least so far. Okay, will we have clarity tomorrow after that big meeting by the Congress party? We'll have to wait and see. Until then, it's anybody's guess. Rajdeep, Mosmi, Preeti, thank you very much. Appreciate you uh, joining me. India's number one political team, remember, will break that story first. I guarantee it. You'll hear about who's going to be fighting from Amethi and Rai Bareilly first and exclusive here on India Today before it actually happens. We've got more breaking news coming in now. A viewer after the BJP's first list, Dhamaka, now there's suspense over the BJP's second list. Remember, the BJP's announced candidates in 195 seats of the Lok Sabha. Brace now for more surprises and more quote-unquote bold moves. The BJP is gearing up to release its second list of Lok Sabha candidates any day now, the BJP's key core committee is meeting today on a whole host of states and there are more shocks and more surprises, we are told, in the BJP's second list. The first one also had certain unexpected decisions. Many veteran MPs were dropped, new faces drafted in. It looks like that could be something that's going to happen in the second list as well. In fact, we've got some more breaking news coming in right now. Now, you do know that the BJP has set itself a target via Narendra Modi of 370 seats by itself, 400 plus seats as part of the NDA in the upcoming elections. Now, the BJP knows that it needs to improve its tally in the south and the east where it is most weak. So, the party has marked the states of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh in the south and Odisha and West Bengal in the east as its main targets to achieve what it says is that char so par, or 370 plus for the BJP alone target. In the south, remember, except for Karnataka and Telangana, the BJP has no seats in Kerala, 
Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh, Lakshadweep and Puducherry. So out of 131 seats in the south, the BJP currently has only 29 seats and out of these, 25 are from Karnataka alone. This time, it is hoping to better its tally. The BJP has allied with the JDS, the HD Devegowda party of JDS in, in uh, Karnataka. In Andhra Pradesh, the BJP is looking to tie up with the TDP and Pavan Kalyan's Janasena. There are feelers that have been going on between the, 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 the Jagan Mohan Reddy's party and the BJP as well. But remember, Andhra goes to the polls concurrently with the uh, Lok Sabha elections. TDP leaders say that they may not get electoral benefit from forming an alliance with a weak BJP in Andhra, but it will help a lot in terms of election management. Very, very interesting. All these, uh, you know, uh, these uh, pulls and pressures that will perhaps have an impact on the final decisions being taken over the next few days. Kerala, crucial state. The BJP is nowhere in the state. It's eyeing many small parties to ally with. The party has already declared 12 candidates out of the 20 seats uh, in Kerala and will declare the remaining candidates on four more seats, including Wayanad, where Rahul Gandhi is the sitting MP. Sources say four seats can also be given to its ally, the Bharat Dharma Janasena in that state. So the South push and the South, uh, you know, the South battle plan for the BJP has been chalked out with great meticulous detail. Will it actually work out the way? Uh, the Modi machine actually is hoping for, nobody knows just yet, but every effort is clearly, uh, clearly being put into it. Paula Misa is live with us from Delhi. She tracks the BJP for us and has been bringing us all the latest information about the seats, the seat sharings, the alignments, and who's getting what. Uh, Paula uh, you know, the, the South and the East are very clearly demarcated targets. The, the, you know, the BJP... The, the Modi machine, Amit Shah, they're clear that this is where all the numbers really need to come from in order to achieve anything close to that 370 plus figure. Absolutely. You know, the Prime Minister stores, if you've uh, seen Shiv since, of course, uh, you know, the Pran Pratishtha program at the Ram Temple on January 22nd, have yes. focused entirely on the southern part of the country or the eastern part of the country. In Over these past uh, couple of days, he's been in Telangana, he's been in Tamil Nadu again, he's been to Bengal, Bihar, Odisha. These are the states, in fact, that the Bharatiya Janata Party is focusing on. If I remember uh, correctly, at the time after, tw after the 2014 win, when Amit Shah was made the national president of the Bharatiya Janata Party, he said that he would have done his job as national president of the party if he broke into Kerala, Odisha, and West Bengal. These are the three states he had named. Of course, since then, uh, the BJP has been trying to make inroads into the other southern states as well, like Tamil Nadu as well. And they're hoping that the incremental seats, in fact, that the BJP hopes will help Hope them uh, will help them achieve uh, the 370 target, which has been said by the Prime Minister, comes from these states. Karnataka is a, a state which they hope to perform well in, as they did the last time around in 2019, when they got 25 of uh, the 28 seats in the state. But this mm. time, they're hoping that, you know, they'll get some seats uh, coming in from Tamil Nadu, from uh, Kerala as well. From Odisha, they better their performance and they're hoping uh, to better their performance from Bengal as well. So that has entirely been the Prime Minister's program and his focus on before, of course, uh, the general election schedule has been announced. Because as far as the North Indian states are concerned, the Hindi heart yes. states are concerned, the BJP has performed well and has practically saturated in terms of their performance in those states, be it Rajasthan, be it Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh. Uh, the North Belt, Maharashtra, they've uh, done well in the past as well. They're hoping to, of course, uh, do well with, in the alliance with the Eknath Shinde faction of the Shiv Sena and yes. the NCP Ajit Pawar faction right. where they have that seat-sharing uh, arrangement sealed. But as far as these other states that we're talking about, we're talking about the southern states and yes. we're talking about, uh, you know, the east, Orisha and West Bengal. They've not done so very well. And that's what they're hoping that they achieve in this uh, election of 2024. Okay. They're hoping, as far as the south is concerned, the incremental seats, uh, you know, come from Tamil Nadu, come from uh, Kerala, right. come from uh, Telangana uh, as well. But uh, more than Telangana, actually, Andhra Pradesh, where they're hoping to tie up with the TDP okay. and the Jansena. And they're hoping uh, that, you know, the current wave on the ground, which is uh, favorable towards the TDP, right. uh, helps the BJP. Okay, uh, thanks very much, Polami, for putting that into perspective for us. The BJP will have to open its account in some of these states if it wants to achieve 
the targets that it has already articulated right now. The BJP uh, is flexing muscle. It is looking battle ready for 2024 in terms of lists being pulled out, tickets being announced, rallies already taking place in different parts of the country. But the BJP will now also be deciding on its Karnataka candidates. This is the lone southern states where the BJP has tasted power. In the second Lok Sabha list, the Karnataka candidates are likely to be announced. According to sources, out of the current 25 BJP MPs in Karnataka, the top brass is unhappy with the performance of 11 to 12 MPs, roughly half. And amidst this, in a surprise move, the BJP could field former Chief Minister Basavaraj Bommai in the Lok Sabha election with Jagdi Shetar, also a former CM, his name too doing the rounds for multiple Lok Sabha seats. The BJP in all likelihood is planning to give two seats. And remember, this is conjecture. We don't know until it will happen. But Hassan and Kolar to the JDS. Hassan, remember, is a JDS stronghold. And Kolar near Bengaluru, very close to the Tamil Nadu border, will also go to the JDS. In the recent core committee, Meeting with BJP President Nadda, former Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa suggested that the party couldn't cancel tickets just based on age and seniority, claiming that the same mistake was made during the assembly elections last year and it affected the party a lot. I want to bring in India today's Nagarjun Dwarkanath in on this. Uh, Naga, second BJP list likely to clear the air as far as uh, uh, you know Karnataka is concerned. Many likely to be dropped you know, is the word on the street, uh, former chief ministers likely to be deployed in the Lok Sabha uh, election fight as well. What are you hearing? Uh, you know, are there going to be some big upsets and big surprises? Well, true. In fact, Karnataka will, will see the biggest up, uh, upsets right now. And out of 25 sitting MPs of BJP, at least 50% of them will be dropped is not, is not is what we are told. In fact, if not more than 50%, Two central ministers holding MOS rank are likely to be dropped, is what we are also told. There are also Lok Sabha MPs in the northern part of Karnataka and central part of Karnataka. They are likely to be dropped. And people like Jagdish Shetta, who recently joined the party back, might get ticket from Belgaum. And new mm. faces like uh, Dr. Manjunath, who was Jaideva Cardiac Institute, the chief, he might be getting ticket from Bangalore Central as a joint NDA candidate because the rural Bangalore district has a lot of Vokaligas and JDS as its strength. And Dr. Manjunath, who is also related to Kumar Swami and Deve Gowda as a son-in-law, yes. he might be contesting on a BJP symbol is what we are told. But overall, across Karnataka, 12 to 13 sitting MPs most likely will be dropped. And the big name is Katil, who was responsible as the president of Bharatiya Janata Party Karnataka for four years. He yes. might be losing his seat as well as per our sources. Very, very interesting. So we're going to have to wait and see. The Congress list is also likely to be out tomorrow. The BJP second list could be out as early as tomorrow or day after. It's going to be a big, big political week. And remember, viewer, all of this is crucial because the election dates announcement is also just around the corner. We're hearing it could happen any time in the middle of this month. So those lists are going to be out to radiate the idea of battle readiness of all of these parties. And we'll, of course, as always, keep you posted on this. In fact, we've got more breaking news coming in now. The other big buzz that we're hearing about this election season, viewer, is a possible alliance being formed between the BJP and Naveen Patnaik's BJD in Odisha. BJP leaders are at Naveen Patnaik's residence in Bhubaneswar for a high-level meeting. There are rumours that the BJD could join the NDA for Modi 3.0. That's the big, big buzz. Remember, so far, the BJD has fought independently. It has not been an adversary of the BJP, but it has not been uh, you know, a partner or an ally or part of the alliance. But there is buzz now that this could actually be in the offing. Listen in to former BJD leader, current BJP leader, Jay Panda. भारतीय जनता पार्टी दुनिया के सबसे बड़ी पार्टी है और राजनीतिक दल है और ये लोकतंत्रिक दल है तो हमारे जो प्रोसेस है सिस्टम है वो एक प्रोसेस से चर्चा होते हैं सीटों के बारे प्रदेश स्तर पे जिला स्तर पे राष्ट्रीय स्तर पे और जो बाकी सीटें हैं उस पर चर्चा भी होंगे और कई प्रदेश भी अभी तक चर्चा हो नहीं पाया है अभी उनका भी होगा 
कुछ ही दिनों में सब तय हो जाएगा